Hey there! Today we're going to discuss the array of strings in C, so let's get started. Let me open up this editor, and as you can see, I have this file created a while ago. I name it ex56 underscore array of strings dot C. And I have also added the statements ahead of time. So a two-dimensional array can be used to store related strings. So consider this uh, consider the following statements in here which declares an array with three elements three elements each holding 15 characters although the string lengths vary it is necessary to declare a size large enough to hold the longest string additionally it can be very cumbersome to access the elements referring to trip trip 0 for a suitcase which is this is error prone instead you must think of the element at a zero zero as s the element at two three as k and so on so the more uh, e easier approach to this let me just delete this and proceed with the following example let me uncomment this out and let me complete the state the code So in this example, we have a much more easier, more intu intuitive way to deal with a collection of related strings is with, uh, is with by using an array of pointers as in this example, this program. So because each element can vary in length, the array of strings, string pointers has a more rag structure as opposed to a two-dimensional grid structure. So with this approach, there is no limit to the string length, and more importantly, items can be referred to by a pointer to the first character of each string. So let's go ahead and run this real quick. As, as you can see, it printed out perfectly fine. Keep in mind that a declaration like character pointer items, and then three, size, with, size of three, only reserve space for three pointers. The actual strings are being re referenced by those pointers. So that's it for this uh, video. And uh, before we wrap up, I have I have here a little test for you on this tab. So as you can see, there's a missing piece of information in here that needs to be filled in by you so i need you to fill in the blanks to declare an array of strings and if you know if you already know the answer please put it in the comment section below thank you